Oh, this one's a big one. Oh, we got one. We got one. No way. Yes, we got the mystery fish. We got the mystery fish. Yes, let's go. Any crawfish? Well, welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing with Becca. Today we're gonna go on a little micro fishing hunt. Um, I've been trying to switch things up a little bit. Bass fishing, trout fishing. I'm gonna try micro fishing right now. I've just been trying to, you know. <laughs> All right, so, sorry, I thought I just saw something. Um, moral of the story about this place is uh, it's right next to the highway, so there's probably gonna be some really obnoxious highway noise. I'm thinking that it won't be that bad considering uh, people aren't really leaving their house as much anymore, but it's also Easter today, so there could be a lot of people out in the roads, which there shouldn't be, but you know, people do whatever. Um, I don't know, we're just gonna see how it goes. It looks like there's a decent amount of people on the highway, but I don't know, we're, we're gonna make do. Basically, we're just going micro fishing. I'm gonna try to get on some fish. I've, I've fished here so many times before and there's some interesting species that normal people wouldn't try fishing for. Like anyone wouldn't try fishing for them actually, but so I'm hoping I can get that fish, but you know, we'll see how it goes. So stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like this video, comment down below. All those things really help me out a lot and I answer all my comments. Nice ones, mean ones, I don't really care. All right, so <laughs> I'm gonna grab everything and uh, I'm already pretty much rigged up, so I'll meet you guys out on the water. All right, got a little frostbite ice jig with a night crawler on a float and fly. Let's see if we can get it done. Oh, I got a bite, I had a bite. We're getting smacked out there, holy crap. I had no hope. Is that bad to say that I didn't I didn't have hope for today, but now here we are, so. No, I keep missing them. Whatever it is. We're getting smacked. Holy. Look how small that hook is and we're missing them. Okay. We got the perfect size. We're gonna do it. This is the cast. This is the cast. I didn't even think we would get any bites. This is kind of sick. Oh no, my bobber went completely under. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Uh, he probably ripped me clean again, huh? Oh no, something has it again. Oh, take it. No, 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 I'm just, yeah. Stick to bass fishing, Becca, stick to bass fishing. Oh God. Oh, we got one, we got one, no way. Yes, we got the mystery fish, we got the mystery fish, yes. Let's go, I'm so happy right now. Oh, let's go. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna put my camera on, my bigger camera, and show you guys. <laughs> this is sweet. Oh, all right, so it sounds very ridiculous. I, I, I just understand how crazy this sounds, but this little guy right here, there is so many golden shiners that live in this little pond. It's not even a, I wouldn't even consider it a pond. It's like a puddle, but um, yeah, I know people use these to catch bass I in a bunch of different species, but I just think they're so cool to catch on little, little jigs. Look at them. I don't know, if, let me try to get his fin out. Do you guys see how orange and yellow, that's why they're called golden shiners. They're so cool though. All right, I'm gonna toss them back now. No, 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 ready? See ya. I think they're so cool. I really do, I think they're so cool. I don't know. I, would I use him for bait to catch a big bass? Yeah. So, <laughs> we're gonna catch other species, so don't worry, but if you guys wanna see a video of me catching uh, the shiners in here, let me know. Because I'll do a video of me catching the shiners in here and like going after bass or really whatever. But let me know if that's something you guys wanna see on this channel because yeah, they take kind of a while to catch, but I can also get a cast net and cast it in there and it would be easier, so yeah, I don't know. Well, come up with ideas, brew some ideas for me. All right, let's get back. 18 mile per hour winds today, by the way, so it's 
not exactly the best weather to be fishing. Oh, we got one. We got one. Yes, sir. <laughs> no, oh, he came off. No. I... Aw. That was kind of cool. Okay, back to casting it is. Back to casting. Oh, that one annihilated it. Oh, this one's a big one. This one's a big boy. I will not drop this one. I will not. I will not. Okay. <laughs> we got another one. This one's fat, like obese. Look at that. You guys see the belly? Crazy. I'm ready for the comments of me getting bullied, but they're so cool. Look how fat. They're built really, really weird, but imagine putting this on a hook, like catching bass. That'd be sick. That'd be sick. I think I'm gonna take a selfie with him and then I'm gonna put him back. <laughs> Quick little Instagram pic. All right, oh, see you later, buddy. No, I'm snagged. No, that's my frostbite ice jig. No. Oh my god, I went to go break it and I got the whole Oh no, my bo That was so unfortunate. So unfortunate. My bobber is freaking floating. That was just I can see my line. Ugh. Oh, I had it. I had my line. No! No! My rod! Like the other half of my rod. Look! What the heck? Alright, I gotta... I gotta... I gotta... I gotta go. I'll be back. I have an idea. Alright, I'm gonna use my bait caster. I got a spinner bait tied on. Oh, this is so brutal. Come on. Spinner baits are like not good at getting snagged on stuff because the wire protects it. Oh, there we go. This is 17 pound fluoro. You cannot break. I mean, you can, but please don't. All right, I'm just completely snagged now. Okay, got it. Oh, there we go. Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. 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 I got my rod back. Now I want that. I want the bobber. I know my spinner bait's completely snagged, so all you gotta do a little CEO trick right here. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, even though that I completely lost my bobber. I really liked that bobber. Kind of sad. I've also never caught a bass in here, fun fact. Okay, so um, I forgot to bring my fishing tackle box that had like the micro hooks in it and the extra bobbers. I forgot all of them. So I'm gonna bring you guys to a spot right now that I'm actually currently at, looking at. It's one of my favorite little spots, but there's no fish here, sad to say. There's this little creek right here. It actually starts at the mouth of that body of water that we were just fishing at. So it's like there's a stream coming from that way and the stream coming from the pond. And it's just crystal clear. And in the summertime, there's frogs everywhere. Like this place is loaded with frogs and it is so cool. So I usually just come here and hang out and it's really close to my house, so. But look at this. Sick. Like that pool, there's a pool right there that's super deep. No fish here. I fish here so many times. Like so many times because you, you would think that some of those fish would get washed up down here, but it it's way too shallow at the beginning where it like dumps into here, so. I don't know, but I've tried. I've tried, and it's crystal clear, so if I, I could see the fish if I, if there was any. But yeah, then there's this corner right here. I've actually walked this whole entire thing. It's 
It's a really long creek, I can tell you that. But right here is actually where all the frogs hang out. But I don't see any right now. But yeah, this pool right here, super deep. And I've actually always wanted to come here and see if there's any crawfish. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you guys see the geese? Because I didn't see the geese. Oh my god, my heart. I'm, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Stop hissing at me, I'm sorry. This geese is sitting on like five eggs right now. I don't think I even got the part where it tried attacking me. I almost just got killed by a geese, not killed. A little, a little dramatic, you know? Dude, I'm sorry, stop looking at me like that. <laughs> I apologize, I didn't mean it. Look how, he looks evil, you can just tell. You just look, look at a geese and they look mean. No, no, be nice. No. Okay, okay, all right, all right, I'm good. Anyways, I don't even know what I was trying to say. Okay, stop hissing at me. I'm walking in complete opposite direction. There's like five eggs under her. You go, girl. Or guy, I don't know, girl. I'm sorry, but the way that it hissed at me, I thought it was a snake. And um, I only saw it like out of the corner of my eye when it first happened. And I kind of freaked out, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really not gonna lie, but. Anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of end the video here. I thought it'd be pretty cool to bring you guys here since you guys have never really seen it. Sadly, there's no fish. I think there might be crawfish in here, which would be really cool. So I might attempt that when it kind of warms up a little bit more. So let me know if you guys want to see that. I just can't believe I lost almost everything just because of one tree, you know? Crazy. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you so much if you watch until the end of the video. I'm going to go home, eat, relax, and tell my parents about how I almost just got killed by geese because that was terrifying. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much if you stay tuned until the end, seriously. You guys mean the world to me. Again, thank you for 6K. I can't believe I'm at 6K right now. It just kind of blows my mind how quick everything has gone in the past six months. But anyways, I'll catch you guys next time.